I'm Michael Beschloss, author of Presidents of War. Spending 10 years writing this book made me see every war president in a new way. James Madison, the great architect of the Constitution, was close to being a disaster as a war president. Madison let himself be pushed into the War of 1812, and he fought it so badly that the British burned Washington and chased him and his wife Dolly out of the city in fear of being hanged. I found James Polk to be a liar who cheated his country into waging the Mexican War. I love Harry Truman, but when the North Koreans invaded the South in 1950, Truman never bothered to ask Congress for a war declaration, and he waged the war so badly that quickly we were in stalemate. And as for Lyndon Johnson, for all of his good intentions in Vietnam, he waged a war without serious congressional sanction that cost 60,000 American lives and still damages our country today. Franklin Roosevelt helped save the world from Hitler, and the Imperial Japanese, but he could have done more to thwart the Holocaust, and FDR signed on to the catastrophic incarceration of Japanese Americans. At the top of my list is Abraham Lincoln, who certainly made mistakes and certainly trampled on civil liberties, but Lincoln managed to keep this country together and managed to eradicate American slavery for all time. And most of all, Lincoln said something that we should all remember, which is that no one president of the United States should ever have the right to take our country into war alone.